Hey everybody, I've finished <coughs> painting and, or not painting, sanding everything down, and this is what I've come up with here. So, this is quite a bit of work to do, but it's done. I think it turned out pretty good. It feels okay. Um, certainly up to my satisfactory for right now. I could do more on it, could polish more. Um, so what I did is I put on the Tamiya putty, it's nice gray stuff, it works pretty quick. If you apply it on in a light coat it dries pretty quickly too. So I put that on, um, sanded it all down and then the next thing I did was I put on the bottom wing section here and I used um, Tamiya liquid surface primer right here. This is white. Um, this is nice stuff because it's used for filling in scratches, like when I'm scribing things um, and I make a mistake, I will use this stuff and fill it in. It's kind of like whiteout, but it does it does eat at the plastic a little bit, which is kind of what you want. You know, kind of like glue does. I use it to put over putty to make a harder coating on it. It, like, it makes it more... Um, smoother it's easier to polish so what I did is I used a 400 grit sandpaper and sanded it all down smooth and then I took a thousand grit sandpaper and kind of buffed it and polished it so there's no scratches so this would have filled in any scratches and things like that um, and it looks to be pretty good now so I'm I'm quite happy about that I think it looks pretty good and then what I did is I took this it's a um, women's makeup brush, or men's, depending on who you are. Uh, but I found this because it came inside of the handle. It came with a bunch of little brushes and things like that. And I like to use this to dust off the um, all the excess putty dust and things like that. And get it relatively clean. So, there's that. So, let's put in the firewall there. It has the magazine belts on there for all the ammunition so this wasn't too bad of a kit to sand I've had some models where I've spent a very very long time sanding and prepping each each little part this one wasn't bad mainly because it was just a giant flat surface and a bit of a curved surface but it was only that big um, so it wasn't a lot of work to do to get that to look nice. So now I need to add a little bit of glue in here. Like that. Now, is this a supposed to fit in okay I see okay that's a good fit actually I thought I really thought I was gonna have to uh, fumble with this piece a little bit but uh, nope huh okay that looks good that's all in there So when I'm airbrushing, all I'm going to do is just put some paper towel or tissue in here and then I can airbrush it. So, let's see, there's a bit of a gap underneath the wing that I doubt you would really be able to fill in. So I'm just going to use some extra thin cement. You have to be careful with this extra thin cement because there's glue on here and if you're not careful you can bump that on your model. I've done that a couple of times. So now all I have to do is just take a little bit of light sandpaper and buff this, these two edges right here. That won't be difficult to do. Okay, so let's look at the instructions. Manfreds and Lothars. 
DR ones. Okay, I'm supposed to add the guns on there. Not going to do that until I'm. Uh, I'm not going to do that until probably like one of the last things to do on the model because uh, it'll be easier to paint them and assemble them later. Um, wait, oh, it's upside down. Okay, of course. There we go. Uh, step seven is adding in the main wing struts. Okay. Don't glue until... Okay. That makes sense. So you're not supposed to glue the wing struts here, but you're supposed to glue them later after the top wing goes down on it. Have you ever looked on the DR1 and seen how big the top wing is? I mean, look at this. It is huge. It's like twice the size of the plane. <laughs> it's just a mammoth the wingspan. No wonder it got such good lift. Anyways, um... 13 and 13, okay. So it doesn't matter where they go. They're identical. Okay. I said this before, it's a very nice kit to put together. It goes together pretty easy. I'm quite impressed. Okay. So let's trim this. That looks clean. Okay. How do you put these in exactly? It just looks it looks like you just set them on. There we go. Okay. So yeah, you don't glue them in, that way you have a little bit of a uh, little bit of play in them. Which really, you know, makes sense. Obviously. Like that. Oh. Okay, that looks good. Actually, there's just a little bit there. There we go. Now it looks good. Okay, let's put this on. I really do like the look of the DR1. It's very, very pretty plain. Is that? Alright, come on. There we go. Hmm. That's a little odd. It doesn't fit. It's a little too tall. Let me flip it around and see if it fits better this way. Because it doesn't say if there's a top or a bottom, but I'm sure it does. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. You know what? It's not quite fitting. The wings look strange. Great. Oh, oh, okay. It's the bottom wing here. Okay. So my bottom wing is a little... Yeah, it's a little up. There we go. Okay. Let me just check. Yeah. So there. You can see. Okay, so this wing right here was down, or up a little bit. So I just, I pulled it down just a little bit. Stressed the plastic. Good to go. Okay, now, next step. Okay, I'm supposed to glue the braces to the top of the wing and glue the braces around the canopy, uh, or the nose, I guess, should say. And, yeah, I'm supposed to do some wire rigging. I don't want to do wire rigging, I'm sorry. I'm not as adventurous as a lot of you, so I'm not going to do it. You can call me coward. Uh, no, I just don't have the... I just don't want to do it. I'm not quite motivated to do it on this one. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, there they are. Oh, 
Ooh, this one's bent a little. Uh oh. Okay, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Um, let's see how they fit. Two prongs in the top. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to be very gentle with these pieces. And I'm holding on to them just slightly so that they don't go fly across the room. And I have to make new ones out of who knows what. There we go. Okay. How am I going to clean these pieces? There we go. Okay. I've seen a lot of, like when I was looking up this, this kit, I found lots of places where you can buy brass um, or metal wing brackets just because they're stronger. And uh, I see the appeal. Unfortunately, I don't build enough World War I planes to you know, ever really need to buy them, you know, I could see if you built them constantly, 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 constantly. Anyways, I could see, I can see the appeal to that, most definitely, even if you're just wanting a really nice plane, I could see the appeal. Okay. Sharp knife. Makes quick work of these stubs. Looks great. Okay. I'm quite happy. Uh, let me just see how they fit in here. So if that goes there. That goes there. Right? Right. Okay. And I think I even have them the right way too. They don't... They don't... They're, they're angled towards one way, but they don't quite show you which way you put them. Um... Hmm. Okay. It looks like... Hmm. So it looks like they kind of lean back. Alright. I think I've got this. Lean back a little bit. Okay. This is the kind of model where you're you're really going to want some like Tamiya extra thin cement. When I did this on the Albatross, I was so nervous. They're going to screw this all up. And somehow, I didn't. I was very, very shocked. Okay, I'm going to add an extra bit of, extra dab of glue on those. Just to make them a little stronger. Okay, they, sorry, I'm not having this in the shot. Because the parts are so tiny. a bit puzzled okay oh I did have it in right but the peg the landing gear or the strut popped backwards on me okay so there they are they're in I'm assuming that's the correct way let's double check make sure because and there's no there's no diagram for this on the instructions, it's a little frustrating. Okay, these bend. In. I'm gonna pull this off off camera because I can't. I have to focus on this a little closer. 
Okay. All right. I think, based on what I'm seeing, it looks like I did put them in correctly. All right. So they should fit. If not, I will quickly pull out all of these parts and try again. Maybe have to let the glue, you know, dry. Okay. This is probably not the best model <laughs> to be doing a video of. Could have done a Spitfire. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think they're backwards. But I don't really know. Uh, it's very frustrating. here this one goes here okay so the bar with the the longer strut goes in the back okay <clears throat> Try. Let's try this again. This is uh, very frustrating. So I really want to get this down so it can dry and quit boring everybody with my failed attempts. Come on. Okay. Oh man, I am so frustrated now. How the heck do these stupid things go in? Okay, grab this one. Oh, man, oh man. Okay, that's in. Hmm. I just ripped the strut out. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Shoot. Okay. So in the next video, you are going to see a smashed DR1. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to smash it. Um, but what you are going to see is I'm just... What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue... All the struts down like this okay okay and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna glue all these down all these down and I can't figure out how these dumb things fit in properly it doesn't tell you on the instructions um, it doesn't really show and I can't get them to fit right so yeah there's nothing on here the decal instructions sort of helpful. So I'm going to figure out something else to do. And then I'll show you what I came up with. So, and then I'll start assembling the tail and uh, ailerons and bits like that. So this is just a little frustrating. But I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Rebels of Cloud 9, he'll be right back.